Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Brute Dude coming at you with another brew review. Today I'm coming at you with El Primero, brewed by Chihuahua uh, Brewing Company. Uh, Chihuahua Brewing Company is, uh, I believe, based off uh, Newport Beach. They're a fairly new company. I believe they just started selling um, this summer, like around July or June, something like that. Um, I found out about them on Instagram. Um, and um, I went ahead and like sent a message and I was like, yo, like I want to review your beer. Is, is this beer vegan or not? According to the brewmaster, their beer, the four beers that they have on their lineup, they are 100% vegan. So um, we'll go on through the review with it. Um, unfortunately, you can't find this beer on barnaboard.com, um, which is why I had to ask directly through like Instagram or like their social media page. But just remember that in general, if you want to know if your cerveza or if your wine is vegan, just go to barnamore.com and look it up and you'll be able to check there. Um, if anything, man, um, I don't have any more information in the background of what the beer is, so I would just like to skip over and go through the uh, the uh, packaging review. Um, just a reminder uh, that we have a point system on where we review the beer itself and the packaging as well. The point system is on a base of a scale from one through five, of course, with my own little twist. So um, the one or the finger is pretty self-explanatory. We have the two or the deuce, it means your recipe needs more work. We have the three or the dub, uh, I'm sorry, the three or the whatever, which means uh, you know your, your beer is good, but it's not winning. Then we do have the four or the dub, which means your beer is winning. And then we have the five or the spank, which means your beer is spanking the competition and it's a contender to be on the top five of the best beers I've ever tried on this channel. So um, the, the only information that I have on this beer is that it's a, a Mexican style lager, um, which basically translates into like a Vienna style type of beer because Mexican lagers uh, have a lot of influence because of like the German community that moved in like in the 1900s or something like that. So it's basically what it is. Um, I know it has how much does it have? 5.5.0 in alcohol, which is generally what you know what you would have. Um, let let's see let's see what we can get out of this beer, man. Let's just go ahead and drink it. Um, in terms of packaging, it's pretty it's pretty nice. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know why my lighting is not working. I might have to change it. But it's uh, it's blue. It has a little cute chihuahua on there, so it's a good it's good on the cute factor. It has um, the white. It makes it look kind of fancy, you know. It screams out craft beer because of the colors and like the logo, like new school logos. Um, I mean it's cool because it has chihuahua. Lets you know the type of beer it is. Lets you know the name of the beer, El Primero, and like the Chihuahua Cerveceria or brewery. But other than that, it doesn't really give you like the story on why it's named Chihuahua or anything, you know. Um, to be honest, at first I thought it was um, it was based on a, a brewery. So there was a brewery before in Mexico uh, named Chihuahua Cerveza. It was based off the state of Chihuahua in Mexico. And due to the hot climates, you know, this was one of the best beers to drink. Uh, but I, I don't think they have any ties. But if anything, man, on terms in terms of the packaging, I'm gonna go ahead and give it. I'm gonna go ahead and give it like a dub. I mean, it's, it's winning, but it has it has potential to do way better. Um, I mean, it is fairly new, so hopefully they can grow and, and get better with their packaging. All right, guys. So let's go on with the uh, review of the taste, the smell, you know, the body, the head, everything in terms of the beer. Most of all, look at that. It's a nice lager color. It's golden, but you can entirely see through it. About one finger of head. It's, I mean, it has a good smell to it. The head is completely white. Uh, once again, it, it's golden. It should be crispy. It should be hell of crispy. So um, let's go ahead and try it. Light bodied. It has that like nice little taste at the end. I mean, I actually compared to what, like what beers, uh, like 
sorry, compared to the style of beers, like a Mexican lager, it, it's way smoother than a Modelo and then a Corona. Uh, it's like less hot beer. And if I have to say, this is this is better tasting than that. It's, it's smoother. The finish is not as dry, which I don't mind because I mean, if you're going to be drinking it in a hot, hotter like climate, you, you don't need that. You don't need the aftertaste. You know, you can just drink, drink, drink. Now they're saying that this beer would go like really well with the Michelin. So, in terms of taste, guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this bank to be honest. Texas Bank um, should be a contender for the top five. However, I'm not sure um, if I'm gonna replace one of those. Um, but yeah. Come back for the buzzability test, and of course, I'll show you if it's on the top five or not, and who it takes out. So, Brew Hands, um, I'm back with the uh, buzzability test. Um, I, I'm not really that buzzed, to be honest. 5.0% um, alcohol by volume for this beer. It's Mexican lager, so it's basically made for you to, like, you know, keep drinking, and you know, um. Drink enough, just cool down. So I'm I'm not biased. Um, in terms of like the rating that the beer got, the beer got a, a spank. But yeah, unfortunately, it's not taking anybody in the top five. The top five right now is pretty strong. We got Prankster, uh, Belgian style Golden Ale. We got Black House by Modern Times. Um, uh, Old Rasputin by North Coast Brewing Company, Raging Bitch by Flying Dog, and Orderville by Modern Times. That's a pretty strong top five. You have to be, you know, like really spanking the competition to be doing them to be on there and, and knock anybody out from there. But I mean, Chihuahua is a, it's a good, it's a good beer. I recommend it. It's a good summer beer, especially if, if you're able to get it now. Just remember that I have a, 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 a link on the description of the video where you can see their website and then there's like a beer located on like almost every uh, website for any brewery. So if you guys want to check it out, check it out, man. This is probably like sweeter and less hoppier than like other beers. The best, well not the best, the, the mainstream beers that I can compare it to would be Modelo and Corona. But even then, dude, like this is this is better. Better, sorry, it's smoother. It's like sweeter. It's it's simpler in a way that, like I said, you can keep drinking it. You can mix it with the michelada if you wanted to, you know. But in order to keep the purity of the beer, I would say drink it alone, catch a good buzz, you know, and just keep going with it. If anything, um, thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribe to the channel. Like the video, subscribe to the channel leave a comment, whatever. Don't, for, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at BrewDudeIsVegan and um, have a good rest of your night, guys.